Hi everybody, this video is going to address the file transfer speed between the Canon 5D Mark IV and the EOS Utility 3 tool when you're shooting wirelessly tethered. So we're going to launch the software here and if you look over here on the EOS 5D Mark III camera controls you see that currently my camera is in RAW and I'm asking the software to when the uh, camera takes a picture that computer and cam camera memory card uh, receive the file and the computer only receive the JPEG when it's in RAW plus JPEG mode. The problem that I've discovered with the 5D Mark IV is that it's got two card slots, which that's great. And I use both of them. I actually use my compact flash card. I write my small JPEGs to that. And I use my larger SD card for the RAW files. However, when you're using that you have to separate those two ports so that you can write separately to each card and when you're doing that and you're only using one card you only have the option for RAW or JPEG and most of us wants to shoot RAW files instead of JPEGs so whenever we take a picture using the EOS utility it takes forever for the RAW file to transfer from the camera to the software itself so you can clearly see that uh, that takes several seconds. It's a very slow process. The fix for this that I found is a very simple fix. If you go to the back of the camera, you're going to uh, access your menu back here. And what you're looking for is you need to change your card slot here. So you're going to change that from record separately to standard, uh, auto switch card, or record to multiple. It really doesn't matter which one. All of them will give you that plus one. The only one that will not give you the plus one is when you're in record separately. So I'm going to just switch it to standard. And I'm going to hit set. And what it's going to do, you'll now see that the raw plus large JPEG is selected. So now if I take a picture, you will see the upload speed is much faster. Now what this is doing is this is telling Canon to write both the raw file and the large JPEG to your memory card and for me personally if you're writing to one card large JPEG you're never going to use them um, you can actually go down to a smaller JPEG so I sh typically shoot to S1 and this also increases the file transfer speed and it's just like shooting with a hardwire tether when you're at S1 so if you watch the load bar I'm going to take a picture and you'll see how fast this transfers so it's there uh, so in comparison, a large JPEG takes a little bit longer, but it's still manageable. It doesn't slow your shoot down as much. So that's how you get faster transfer speed wirelessly from your camera to your EOS utility tool. I hope that helps.